Hey guys, this is Viron from Speak of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. So, we have another longer video today and we're playing with watercolors and it's my actual first pretty serious drawing at the start of 2021. So I did the Christmas drawing thing uh, at 2020 but it was the first video for the 2021. So this galaxy or this girl is my first actual serious joy in quite some time, to be honest. I got stuck doing this particular digital digital drawing last year that I still haven't finished. Uh, not quite content with it. Can't get the background quite right. So I'll be revisiting that sometime soon, I guess. I'm starting to feel creative again. Um, but yeah, for now. Because I wanted to get my creative juices flowing again, get myself back into drawing, I wanted to do a galaxy, stars, and stuff like that kind of drawing, which I haven't really done in a while. I did that a lot in 2014, 15, uh, let's just say around 2016, um, when I first really started getting into watercolors, and I was really obsessed with it. Yeah, and I really got the technique down pat with all of that and I really loved it. And then I decided to branch out and start doing other things because, you know, you can't spend using the same thing all the time. So I stopped for quite some time. But yeah, we're doing it again now because it's been a while. Uh, maybe my voice is a little bit different than usual. I've been having some intense allergies lately. It's just allergic rhinitis. Basically, it's me constantly sneezing, or not really constantly, but sneezing a lot because of weather changes or like dust or pollen or stuff like that. So, my nose has been irritated, and, and since I was sneezing so violently, I pretty much made my throat pretty raw, and I've been taking some anti allergies to help pat that down. It's been a couple of days, but it's finally getting better. Uh, yesterday and the day before that, and pretty much, I guess, this half 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 the week was just um, me suffering from my throat, just aching so much. Like, you'd think it's a cold because it hurt, and like, your nose is stuffed, and you feel feverish, but you don't have a fever, and like, you don't have phlegm, so, and the feeling is different. The feeling of a clogged nose from an allergy is a bit different, or if you're used to it, I guess, it's pretty different to a cold. Because like a cold, it really feels like it's stuck in your chest and it's hard to breathe. Um, for this one, for me at least, for my, for my allergic rhinitis, it's hard to breathe because you've been coughing a lot because your throat is irritated and inflamed. And it, it's hard to breathe because your your chest muscles are tired from the effort of constantly coughing, but there's nothing actually in there. So I'm not worried that it's, you know, a certain pan pandemic going around. It's not that, definitely. I mean, I wouldn't really get it. I mean, it's hard to get it for me since I don't really go out since the pandemic. I haven't really gone out since the pandemic started, save for like the dentist. Um, yeah, see for that, I haven't really gone out. Uh, the only exposure I would have gotten was maybe from like groceries that my dad buys, which I clean, and with alcohol always. Um, and I guess deliveries and delivery for food and stuff like that, but my exposure to COVID is pretty low, so um, I'm not worried it's COVID. I didn't get a fever. Um, there was no phlegm, just really bad allergic reaction so and as I said I know what an allergic reaction feels like anyway I get this so often I used to get this so much in college like there's this one point where I just exit the room from an, like, say, an air conditioned classroom or like the library out into the hot blazing sun of this country and I'd start just getting inflamed so much and I always had like, uh, an anti-allergy with me in my bag uh, usually, I try to like, wash my face first and try to calm down all of those 
uh, opened up blood cells in there and hoped that it would stop inflammation and stop, you know, that entire attack. But there are days where it just doesn't work, so anti-allergy it is. But it, it calmed down quite a bit a couple of years ago, like I say, it's around three years ago when I started working. I still get it, but it won't be so bad. I don't know what's up with this year and this particular season this year that I can't control it with just like splashing my face with water or like waiting it out. For some reason, this, this particular one just needs medicine. Can't do anything about it. So yeah, I've been dealing with that. I couldn't even exercise because it's kind of hard to be when you're sneezing your, your nose, your nose um, cavity out. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Other than that, I've been feeling a little bit more creative with me, especially after this particular piece. It's something that I really love doing, this little galaxy thing. You can already see a little bit of it in the scarf. I'd be do I'll be doing something similar in the background as well. I didn't plan anything for the background for this except that starry background. Everything else is just like kind of an afterthought. One thing that is fun though is that I actually used quite extensively the Kuretahe Gansai Tambi paints with this one. Usually I use it as a small part to see the hair or a small accessory because I really like that particular color for it. And I really mix the colors for the Kuretakes because it it feels weird to mix the colors. Like it feels like it wouldn't melt together, but in reality, they actually stick quite well. So this is the first time I've actually mixed together two different colored pan paints uh, in the mixing tray and used that as my main color base. So that's what you'll be seeing for all of the blue parts on this character. The purple parts, well, since I'm using a small set of kurtakes, it's still coming from a Sakura Koi, so I really can't live up Sakura Koi's right now. I mean, I mean, when I paint, because they're, it has most of the normal colors that I usually use. So. That being said, I've babbled quite a bit of what's been happening recently to me. Um, I guess since the new year happened, uh, how have you guys been? I know I uploaded the video last week, right? Yeah, last week. I think I uploaded last week. So, has anything interesting been happening, I guess? Um, yeah, how's life? Uh, I know that COVID lockdown has been pretty tiresome, even for people who, you know, don't really like going out. Like, I know some intro introverted friends started to get a bit caged in by the lockdowns and especially with other countries where it locks down and lifts and locks down again. I mean, in my particular country, it's just been on constant, constant lockdown at this point, so eh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, tell me how you guys are feeling. I mean, even if it's, you know, if, if you're not feeling great or if you are feeling great, like, let me know, I guess. I want to hear, I want to hear how my watchers or viewers are doing. Uh, yeah. Personally, I, uh, I'm an extrovert, so to be honest, this is a bit hard. Uh, I, thankfully, I'm the type that can actually stay at home for long periods of time. Uh, it's just, I haven't been out properly in a long while. So, like, I'd, recently I've been going out to the yard a little bit more frequently. Because my dad is doing like, some little project of his in the backyard. So it gives me an excuse to go out a little bit more and absorb some sunlight. I, I think that's all I really need most of the time. I just need to see sunlight and the blue sky and some clouds every now and then. Because just the four walls of your room or the house is a little bit tiring at some point. But yeah. I'm feeling slightly more energized and revitalized now that I've seen the sky. <laughs> I'm like a plant. I'm like a plant. If I if I don't see the sunlight in the sky, I wither. <laughs> the hell. Oh, I guess I didn't mention why I was drawing this aside from like trying to revitalize my creative spirit. I actually wanted a new profile picture for my 
account. So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, YouTube, uh, what else? Twitter, I guess. I I wanted a character that was like slightly more similar to the college team that I like. It's slightly more uh, in tune with my theming, like speaker to stars and all of that. And I'll be fair, her her, her hairstyle is actually pretty similar to what I had last year. Granted, I didn't have my hair dyed or anything like that, sadly. Um, so I wanted a new profile picture with some starry them- themed vibe to it. And that's what spurred me on to make this. I've been job hunting recently because I've mentioned on this channel several times that I'm a graphic designer by day and a weed by night. <laughs> so it's. Uh, by my standards, it's been going well. By most people, I've. By most people's standards at this point, I've let go of a lot of opportunities. But because I live with my grandparents and my parents as well, um. I've opted to let go of some jobs that would require me to go out frequently. Well, number one, because there are a lot of no compromised people in this house. And since my dad also goes to work like a couple of days in a week or a couple every couple of days, uh, he's, he's already um, a potential risk already just by going to work. And I didn't want to add to that by ha- by becoming another potential source of risk. Especially since I usually help my mom with the cooking dinner and doing the chores and all of that. And I interact a lot with my grandparents. I let go of a lot of job opportunities that are actually pretty cool or pretty good. Um, except I had to go in to report for office quite often, even in the midst of a pandemic. So I understand why. Like, I understand. I, I, Personally, me, if you ask me, I would love to be in office. I like interacting with people, again, extrovert. So, having a work environment where I can go to and actually work and meet people and talk to people is good for me. But responsibility dictates that, dictates that I stay home. And if it means that my savings account is about to turn to zero, then so be it. So, I've been trying to look for jobs that are more work from home or like would only ask me to go in for once or twice a week. Once a week is honestly the best, but especially since I have work from home experience, so it's a bit hard to say that employer since they probably won't really believe you since. But yeah, my, my old company used to be flexi time that had a work from home system. So I'm used to working from home. It's just a matter of finding a company that also is really open to that or um, they already have it in place even before the lockdowns. So just for me, the most important thing for me right now is just the the least amount of risk that I can bring to the people here at home. And yeah. I mean, I guess the main question is whether I just move out and uh, or or go for a dorm or a department. That's hard because my my I'm an only child, so usually the idea is that you're spoiled, which is true to some extent. But I also help a lot around the house. Uh, I help my mom a lot, so if I leave, a lot of responsibilities would, would fall to her, and you know she's not exactly the most uh, healthy person in the world, so. I'm reluctant. That's why I'm willing to be a little bit broke just to make sure that you know, my family is safe. Uh, yeah. So that made job hunting a little bit tougher than it needs to be. <laughs> eh, I guess if it's not for me, then it's not for me, right? I'll find what I. I'll find where I need to be in the right time. I just need to keep on trying. That's all I can do anyway. 
Anyway, I managed to talk through that entire video. My voice got hoarser as the minute goes by. I hope you enjoyed that nonetheless. Let me know how you're doing down in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please do consider liking it and subscribing to my channel if you want to see more. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or DeviantArt for more stuff, I guess. And please do stay safe. Bye.